When President-elect Obama takes office, he says he will continue to create more green jobs in order to help the environment. In our ongoing Chicago Matters series, Growing Forward, Christian Farr tells us more about this growing workforce and just how long these jobs might last. What we're doing is fairly new, especially in this area. So in the beginning stages is the best time to get in. Damon Carter is on the forefront of an industry that is gaining ground during the so-called green movement. Carter is a senior driller with Indy Energy, a fairly new company that's producing energy in a unique way. Exactly what does a senior driller do? Uh, drill holes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a simple answer. But Carter's job is anything but simple. His bosses say it typically takes six years for a person to become a senior driller. This former messenger did it in half that time. With the economy the way it is and, you know, the way, where I was brought up in, there's just not a lot of opportunity, especially for young black people, you know, like myself. So this type of opportunity was a great thing for me. And what Carter is digging for is good for the environment. There's a source of free renewable geothermal energy in the backyard of every home, in the schoolyard of every school, in every park, under the parking lot of every office building, apartment building, fire station, police station, library that delivers affordable energy with zero carbon emissions, no greenhouse gases. Daniel Chaffetz is the CEO of Indy Energy. It's the nearly three-year-old Evanston-based company that's bringing geothermal power to places like this Park District field house on Chicago's south side. But Chaffetz Company isn't just producing affordable energy, it's also producing something else. In addition to creating green energy and affordable energy, uh, we, we create jobs, we put people to work, we create what they call now green jobs. My definition of a green collar job is a blue collar job but that directly enhances or preserves the environment. Paige Minigan works for the local lead council, which promotes economic development, especially as it relates to preserving the environment. Even though companies like Indy Energy are creating a whole new workforce, there are some economy experts who believe that some green collar jobs won't be around in the future. Will some stick around? Because you guys are fairly new. Well, in any wave technology, and obviously clean energy is one, you will see some things that are innovations not last the test of time. Geothermal has been around for many decades already. It's a proven technology. What hasn't been proven is applying it to the urban environment. And that's the type of project Damon Carter is currently working on in Chicago. If choosing geothermal energy ends up being a good thing for the city, it could mean more business for Indy Energy, which means Carter could be pretty busy for years to come. I plan on retiring from this. <laughs> you know, the guy that trained me did it for 50 years. I'm going to try and top that. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Christian Farr.